Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing that trendy video that's going around the Instagram versus real life makeup. I personally like watching these videos just because it shows you the difference of what makeup can do. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Instagram. I just feel like they say Instagram because Instagram's so heavily focused on makeup. I just wanted to attempt to do this video and I wanted to show you my tips and tricks on why they would classify it as Instagram look versus real life. Because real life, you know, you don't, everything is not as structured. So enough chit chat. If you want to see my Instagram versus real life, then just keep on watching the video. All right, so up first, we are going to prep our skin prime. And I always prime my skin. I just feel like it creates a base for that foundation that you're gonna put on. And for my everyday side, I am going to use this Marc Jacobs primer. I love this primer because it's hydrating and it's smooth and I just feel like it really makes my skin feel great. I'm gonna do this on Instagram because I like this brow better. <laughs> so we're doing real life on the right. And for the Instagram side, I'm gonna use this Veil Hourglass Primer. I don't know what it is about this primer. It just makes my foundation look amazing and it makes it last so long. It's mineral oil free primer. I love this primer. And I hadn't used it in so long, but lately I've just been using the heck out of it. Especially for those days if I know that I'm gonna be wearing a lot of makeup, I really work that into my face. For foundation on the real life side, I'm gonna use this Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Golden. I have been liking this foundation for every day. I don't feel like it's that full coverage uh, foundation and it sits really nicely on your skin, hence Born This Way. So we are going to put that on the everyday side. I don't use much, of course, I squeeze out so much for half of my face. I like wasting product, apparently. So we're just gonna put that on the uh, real life side. And I use a beauty blender on both sides. And for the real life side, this is assuming that I have a day full of errands or something because most of the time, my day starts out with me taking the kids to school and then I go to the gym and I don't wear any foundation or anything like that to the gym. But we're assuming that this is real life running errands stuff like that <laughs> and for the instagram side i have been loving using these hourglass foundation sticks these really make your face look full coverage locked in like she's going out type of makeup and they don't look cakey now if you put a ton of it on now you are gonna look cakey but these go on really smooth and i really like that and they're really easy to blend i have the shade amber and golden tan and amber is darker so I'm gonna put that on the outer portions it looks orange for sure when I put it on but when I blend it out it works out and golden tan in the inner parts and this blends out really well with a brush I actually have the uh, brush that they recommend to use it with but I'm just gonna use my beauty blender just because it bounces on the skin and the Beauty Blender makes everything look fantastic. What did we do before Beauty Blenders, right? Jeez, so great. But can you see the difference already? Like obviously we have some coverage here, but look how full coverage Instagram side. It's like, whoo, different girl already. Now that we have our foundation on, we are gonna go in with brows. I'm gonna let that really soak into the skin. For the everyday brow, I definitely fill them in, but I don't go in with concealer. I don't make them as defined. It's basically just to fill in those sparse areas. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. The pencil I'm using is just the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. It has, no, 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 not gel, wax, waxy consistency. So it like holds down the hairs while filling them in at the same time. And this is in, what shade are you in? Brunette. And that's all I do. I'll just fill in those sparse little spots where it looks bald. And then just use a, uh, the end of the brow pencil and blend it out. And then I will take a brow gel. I'll either use this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Define or Plumper 
or the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Usually, I it just depends on my mood, but I'm gonna use this dark brunette one just because it's darker and it, it, it'll make it look more filled in. And it'll also lock down the hair so they don't move. All right, and for the Instagram side, I have been loving using a pomade. I have forgotten how snatched <laughs> pomades make your brows look. So I've been using this ColourPop Brow Gel in Bangin' Brunette. This really makes, pomades really allow you to create hair-like strokes, which I've completely forgotten. So that's what I've been loving to do lately. Once you have your brow filled in, I'll go in with a concealer, and this is Becca's Ultimate Coverage in the shade Macadamia. And I'll take an angled brush like this, which I actually got from BH Cosmetics. They have really affordable, inexpensive products. As always, make sure to set it. And brunette. It just looks way more defined than the real life side. Moving on to the eyes. So for the everyday side, I put some shadow on, but I will just use one or two colors. I'll use this shade, uh, Frappe by Makeup Geek. It's just like a peachy tone brown that you'll, I'll put in the crease with a fluffy brush like this. Just work it in the crease, make it look like I have definition to my eye, basically. And then once I've done that, I'll take a white shade, and this one is White Lies by Makeup Geek, and I'll just highlight my brow bone with it. And then I'll add some to my inner corner, and then to my lid. So I will curl my lash. Apply some waterproof mascara. I have to use waterproof, just because if I don't, my lashes will go straight back down. So I have to add uh, layers to make it look like I actually have lashes. And then for the Instagram side, I go ham. I like to make them look larger and to make it stick out. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. And basically the same thing, I'm gonna take the shade Faith and Nude and mix them together in my crease. That way we have a really nice gradient. Then I'll take the shade Extra Bitter, put that ooh in my crease. I just knocked myself out with the breath. You get the idea. We want drama on Instagram side. And then I got my contacts in for the Instagram side. And then I'm gonna take the shade Lethal and put it in the crease a little bit. Then I like putting a shimmery color in the center. And I'll take the Lorac Unzipped palette and I'm gonna take the color Unbelievable and just use my finger and put it in the center. And then I'm most definitely doing a winged liner. <laughs> to do my wing, I'm gonna use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Then you're gonna want to apply some lashes. I have Salon Perfect 615s, my favorite lash. Don't forget to tight line your Instagram side. We don't want any flesh peeking through that liner. All right, and moving on to concealer. For the real life side, I use the Naked Skin uh, by Urban Decay, and I use the shade, what is this, Medium Neutral. I've been loving this shade so much, and I'll just uh, put a little bit underneath there, a little bit for me to blend it out. And for the Instagram side, I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now, if I'm comparing these two concealers, I like the Urban Decay Naked Skin much better, but this has a higher coverage and if I'm gonna take photos or something like that, which is what you do on Instagram, 
I will use this concealer just because it covers so well and it's just a heavy duty concealer in my opinion. It's too heavy for an everyday look to me to wear underneath your eyes. And then blend it out with your beauty blender. Do you see what I mean though? It just like brightening. And then I'll put some on my chin and then my forehead. Now for setting underneath my eyes, I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder for both, but it's the amount that I use. I'll just use a light, a lighter amount for the everyday, like this, let me show you. Just a little tiny, well that's kind of a lot, but just a little bit, you'll see the difference for the Instagram side. I'll just use a tiny bit and set those areas. And then for Instagram side, we're gonna go a little heavier and really get some product on our sponge like this and then press it in just like that underneath. All right, and now that we have our under eye set, this is where I'll go in and clean up and finish up underneath my eyes. So for the everyday side, I will go in with the same colors that I used on my lid and I'll just take that same uh, frappe shade and put a little bit on my lower lash line, just like that. Just so it doesn't look bald. And on the Instagram side, we're gonna take those same shades that we used on the top and put it on the bottom. And then I will also use that black liner to line everything up. It's crazy how much bigger this eye looks. And then I will put a nude liner on my lower lashes. On the bottom, this really opens up my small eyes. For mascara on the Instagram side, I use a primer first, and then I'll use this Max Factor Master Precise in velvet black. I love this mascara for my lower lashes. So I'll put a layer of this. All right, and make sure to let that dry before I will put the final coat of mascara. And then don't forget the bottom lashes on the Instagram, or on the real life side. And I love, love a sparkly inner corner for both. For both sides i don't discriminate when it comes to <laughs> shimmer on the inner corner so i'm going to definitely highlight my inner corners with the shimmer on both sides i'm just going to use this shade by makeup geek called shimmer shimmer and then now we can add that coat of mascara where is that max factor precise velvet bag Up next, we are going to contour. For the Instagram side, I definitely use a cream contour and I love these Lancome uh, foundation sticks. This is in the shade uh, 500. So I will contour my forehead and my cheekbone and then my jawline brush. I love this brush for uh, cream products. Really work that in my cheekbone area. And for the everyday life, or everyday real life side, I do not cream contour. I just use a powder to, but look, that gave us instant cheekbone. And for both sides, I will set my face for sure. I will use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Powder in medium neutral. Take a fluffy brush and just set the face. And then we will bronze, and I use my You Sculpted palette by It Cosmetics, and I take the medium contour shade and just lock in everything. Again, I don't contour this side, I'll just bronze. But I set that contour on the Instagram side with powder. 
And for cheeks, on everyday side, I will use a peach tone blush like this shade by Milani. It's Milani's Luminoso. I love that shade. It's such a great uh, drugstore blush. Just to give it a flush of color. And for Instagram side, I really love using this shade by Becca. It's from their Luminous Blush line and it's the shade Blushed Copper. And for highlight, I definitely highlight both sides, but it's about subtlety again. I am going for a more glowy look, so I will go in with these ambient lighting powders. They're the strobe lighting powders. I love these. These are amazing if you just want to look like you're glowing. And that is what we want to do. Isn't that beautiful? I'll put some on my nose, of course. We just want to look like we're glowing. And then on the Instagram side, I like to go ham. I am obsessed with highlighter. So I'm using this Ofra highlighter that has, it's like a pinwheel of colors and it's in Beverly Hills. I'll just take my brush and sweep it through all of the shades, dust it off, and then apply it to my cheekbone. Oh, look at that. Freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. Look at that highlight. We need to dull it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. But see the difference? Glow, nice everyday natural glow. Bing! <laughs> okay, so for Instagram side, for lip, I really like doing a dark, nudish uh, type of lip. Definitely a liquid lipstick, a matte look. And for every day, I wear glosses. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm using Makeup Forever's lip pencil in number 13 to line Instagram side. I do not overline my lips just because I feel like they're already large and in charge. No, my lips are not fake. <laughs> These are 100% mama given. I'm taking Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Honolulu. Wow, tongue twister. It's a dark vampy color. Ooh, it's real dark. It's a little darker than I anticipated. And then I'm gonna take this shade Rio and put that in the center. Lighten her up. Make her look more mauve. All right, we got the Instagram side on. Next for lip gloss, we're gonna use White Russian by Buxom, which is just an everyday pinky nude color, which is exactly what I would wear <laughs> in real life on a day-to-day -day basis. There you go, you guys. This is the difference between Instagram and every day. I absolutely love both sides. It's just really cool to see them side by side like this. They're so different. And I feel like you can just tell a difference even with skin, the, the coverage, right? So cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love how we just did it one at a time on each eye so you can really see the power of makeup too as well. This Doing this tag really reminded me of doing that just because, you know, you do one side, you don't do the other. Anyways, <laughs> that completes this video. I really encourage you guys, if you're a YouTuber, to do this challenge. I think you guys will find it really fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed and learned some new tricks maybe from this video. Uh, let me know down below what you guys would like to see next. And I appreciate your time in watching this video. I almost had a brain freeze. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you.